Kratos the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, we'll be going over first and foremost my round 9 results. And then I'll give you my round 10 tips for Magic Round. Guys, if you didn't hear already, I will be at Magic Round. So if you guys spot me, come and say hello. You know, I'd love to meet you guys. I know I've, I've, I'm barely even scraping uh, 2,000 subscribers. I'm nearly there, though. So if you hit that sub button, it means the absolute world to me. But I know there are people out there that surprisingly look up to me i don't know why but thank you if you do for some reason some people do um i've been told that i cheer people up when i do these or my you know when i record videos and do stuff on tiktok and stuff so that really means the world to me to hear that i can make people happy like that's why i started this so uh without further ado let's jump in let's check out my round nine tips starting with thursday night last week I had to work at 4am on Friday morning, so what I did was something pretty crazy. I pulled an all-nighter to watch this game, and I probably shouldn't have because the Rabbitohs lost this one. Pretty disappointing, I might add. So, uh, yeah, not a good start to me. I tipped the bunnies, and they got absolutely flogged by Reynolds and the Broncos. Shout out to Adam Reynolds and the Broncos. They're having an amazing season. All right, next up was the Raiders and the Bulldogs. Now, I thought the Bulldogs would get the win here, but unfortunately, I was wrong again. I started that uh, this week, that or last week off 2-0, and and that was, I thought that we were in for a long round. And then Friday night, it continued with the Panthers losing to the Eels. Uh, kind of glad the Panthers lost for once, bring them back to bring them down to earth. Um, good win for the Eels, and I, I started the week off three and zero. And I thought, you know what, this is going to be a long week. I'm not going to get a good uh, good result this weekend. But I picked it up. Manly beat the Tigers. I got that one. Roosters having having a good win over the Titans, where James Tedesco scored a hat-trick. So, so shout out to him for that. Uh, Cowboys defeated the Knights fairly comfortably there. And Storm, easy winners over the Dragons. And the Sharkies, with at one point 11 players on the field, managed to get a 19-point win over the Warriors. So that was last week, and that was my tips. Five out of eight is not too bad. 52 out of 72 is pretty good in my opinion. Um, not very good at maths, but I think uh, I think I've, I'm doing all right this year. I don't know what my percentage is. I'm pretty bad at maths, if I'm being completely honest. Um, apparently, it's 72%. Do let me know in the comments, though, but apparently I'm tipping at 72%, so I will take that, um, if that is true, that is. So, round 10, this is Magic Rounds. As I said, we I will be there this weekend, so if you do see me and my beautiful wife, please come and say hello. We do not bite. All right, starting it off with the Bulldogs and the Knights. Now, I have, originally I went the Bulldogs, and I think I'm sticking to that. You know, it's the battle of the bottom in this one. I don't know if I'm going to go to this game. I might just go in later and watch the Broncos and Sea Eagles game. Or we might get there and, I don't know, go out for dinner or something and then go to this game late. Um, yeah, look, it, this isn't going to be that flash of a game. I'm tipping the Bulldogs, but I think this is a game that definitely could go either way. This one, I think, will be one of the games of the round. Um, I'm very surprised that it's... 47% to the Broncos. Now, I am ironically tipping the Broncos here. I think they will beat Manly this weekend. The Broncos are finding some pretty good form, and technically this is a Manly home game, but at Suncorp, I think the Broncos have this. So I'm backing the Broncos in that one uh, to get their fourth win in a row. Warriors and Rabbitohs. Now, this is another game that I'm not confident in tipping. I am going to back the Bunnies in this one. I'm, I'm a Bunnies fan. I've got to support my team. Uh, but we do have some injuries. Blake Taff is likely to miss this game. Cameron Murray is out. So, a bit nervous about this one. But uh, we should still have enough in the tank to get it done. Titans and Dragons. Now, I'm back in the Titans here. I think they'll win this one. Uh, fan vote does have... 
the Dragons winning this one. But in Brisbane, I think the Titans get the job done here. They play fairly well at Suncorp, so I think they will get the win there. Uh, next up, Storm and Panthers, game of the round. Uh, I'm back in Storm here. I'm back in Storm to uh, get take Penrith down this week. I know Ryan Pappenhausen is out, but they've just got so many guns in that team. I think they can still get the job done, even without Pappy there at fullback. Uh, Sharkies and Raiders on the Sunday. I'm back in the Sharks here. I don't see the Raiders winning this one. The Raiders have been really poor this year. And I don't really see them, uh, you know, do, improving too much or getting close to winning this this game. I think the Sharkies will beat them quite comfortably with 11 players for a good part of that game against the Warriors. They won that one quite convincingly. So against the 13-man Raiders squad, I still think the Sharkies win that one uh, pretty easy there. Uh, Roosters and Eels... I can't tip the Roosters. I can't do it. I I think the the Eels win this one. I did want to have a look at the fan votes and Eels are seventy five percent. And I think they'll do. I think they'll beat the Roosters. I really do. Um, a lot of people are sleeping on the Eels this year, and I think they're going to be a very very tough team to beat, uh, especially after beating arguably the best team in the comp. Personally, I think Storm is, but you, know, you definitely could make an argument for the Panthers. I mean, they are you know, before Storm beat uh, before the Eels beat them, they uh, had like 22 wins in a row at home or something like that. Crazy, crazy. But uh, last game of the round, I think this one's going to be a cracker. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be tipping the Cowboys by I don't know 13 plus. But I do think the Tigers will come in to play in this one. I think it'll be a lot closer than most people think. Now, I do have the Cowboys winning and more than likely quite comfortably. But do not be surprised if the Tigers are in this game for a long period of time. Alrighty, Roo. So let's go over my tips one more time. I've got the Bulldogs over the Knights, the Broncos to beat Manly. Rabbitohs to beat the Warriors, the Titans over the Dragons, Storm to beat the Panthers, Sharkies over the Raiders, Eels to beat the Roosters, and the Cowboys to beat the Tigers to round out round 10 at uh, Suncorp Stadium. So guys, I hope to see some of you there. It'd be amazing if you guys would come and say hello. I don't want to make you guys anxious or nervous or anything like that, so please, you don't have to say hello. But if you notice me and you want to say hello, I'm more than welcome to, you know, have a chat to you. I don't even mind if we have a chat about footy. Would love it. But uh, yes, guys, that is going to wrap it up for me in this one. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.